Hello boys and girls, today is Wednesday, halfway through the week. So for math today, you need out your green papers, your reteaching pages, okay? We are going to review for the test today. You are also going to need out your shapes that you had, your little baggie of shapes. So if you need to go get those two things, go ahead and pause the video and unpause when you guys are ready to come back. But otherwise, we are gonna go ahead and get started today on our review of our 3D and 2D shapes unit. So on the green paper, we know that this is the side that kind of is reviewing and explaining, and then you are doing over here. So that's how we're gonna work it today, just like we would in class. Talk about it over here, then I'm gonna give you a second to do it over here, okay? So let's take a look at set A. It says you can sort 2D shapes by sides and vertices. These have sides and vertices. So what I would like you to do is get out a pencil and let's mark the sides first of each shape here. So all of the sides, we put a little dash. So this one has four sides. So let's move over to the triangle. Mark your sides, okay? Remember, the sides are the straight lines where two of them come together to form a point or vertice. And then mark your square. Okay, those are all sides. Now, next we want to mark the vertices. Now the vertices are where the two sides come together to make that point. So we have one, two, three, four. Four vertices for our rectangle. One, two, three. Three vertices for our triangle. One, two, three, four. Four vertices for our square. Okay? Now this it says these have no sides and no vertices, okay? There are no straight lines coming together on all of these that come to form a point or a vertex. So hop over to one and two. I will read them, I'd like you to do them. Circle the shape that has four straight sides and four vertices. All right, you should have circled the rectangle here. Four sides and four vertices. This does not have any sides or vertices. This one has three and this one has six. So it's a hexagon. Okay, number two, circle the shape that has zero vertices. You should have circled the circle. Here we can see has four vertices. This is a hexagon, so six sides and six vertices. And then our triangle has three vertices. Good job. All right, set B, it says you can make 2D shapes using different kinds of materials. So for example, you can use construction paper and cut out a square. You could use toothpicks to make a square. You could use colored sticks like wiki sticks or even your color pencils and put them together to make a hexagon or construction paper again to cut out a circle. Now, over here in set B, it says use materials your teacher gives you to make a rectangle. Glue or tape it into the box. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna let you do that one, so you're gonna need to pause. Get some sort of materials out. If you wanna use construction paper, Go ahead and do that. If you want to use strings or rubber bands or something and cut them and tape them on there, that works too. When you're ready and finished with that, then go ahead and unpause and we'll work on set C. All right, welcome back. We are working in set C. It says use the pattern blocks to make larger shapes. So this is where you're gonna need your little baggie of shapes that we provided for you guys. 
Here we have a trapezoid. And one way that you can make a trapezoid, okay, so I want you to get out your red trapezoid, lay that flat on the table. One way you can use it is by, okay, right here would be a triangle and then your rhombus. So we use one triangle, one rhombus. Way two says three triangles. So I want you to take a minute, pause the video, and then put three triangles on top and see how you make that. All right, you should have made it like this, and I'll color my triangles different colors so you can see. So we have the green triangle, the blue triangle, and the red triangle. One, two, three to make that trapezoid. All right, over here, it wants you to make this shape in two different ways. Okay, so pause the video and see if you can put your pieces on top of there to make it fit two different ways. All right, one way we could have done this. Okay would be one triangle and one rhombus and, I'm sorry, not rhombus, one trapezoid, and I'll outline those. So there's your triangle, and here's your upside down.